the Sabres organization, Terry and Kim Pagula, the owners, deciding to reshuffle as they, in the midst of this rebuild, get rid of the general manager in Mr. Tim Murray and the head coach, Dan Bilesma. First reactions uh, to you, John Shannon. Well, you, you know, earlier in the week, there were a ton of stories that Jack Eichel said he wouldn't re-sign in Buffalo if Dan Bilesma was the head coach. Um, deny, you know, denials by the agent, reaction from the organization. But in the end, do you wonder where there's smoke, there's fire? And, and from that perspective, um, I fully believe that, uh, that Tim Murray uh, fell on his sword and was told to fire Dan Bosma, and he refused. And so they said, well, we're going to get rid of both of you. And I think that that's, I think that's what happened. Yeah, I mean, you know, any time that you, that you don't succeed and you're not in the postseason, there's always going to be questions to ask and, and things to be answered. And uh, unfortunately, you know, when, when the news comes out, when your star player doesn't, uh, I don't know, you know, you hear it, it's, it's hearsay. You, we're not in that dress room. We don't know exactly what's going on. But you got to think that uh, Terry Bagula kind of just decided, well, I'm going to go with my stars. He's going to be here a lot longer than my coach and my GM. And it's unfortunate. I, I, you, you never want to think that that's the, that's the ultimate, like that's the truth, is having a, a player maybe dictate what's going on with the future. And I, I hope that's Okay, you've been in case. enough dressing rooms. Oh, do you I think have. That, do you think this, uh, I think that, this I think had what, a pl- role, the, the, the star player? I think what John said, where there's smoke, there's fire for sure. I, 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 I mean, it, it's not going to come out if that wasn't, if something like that wasn't said. Two things. Ryan O'Reilly went off the last Wednesday of the season, a uh, game be- against the Montreal Canadiens, mm-hmm. the morning skate before that, and, and he just blasted everybody including his head coach, and then later actually defended his head coach, saying it wasn't intended for him. And at the exit interviews, Jack Eichel was the last player to meet with uh, with Tim Murray, and when he met with the media, was uh, was less also... Than, yeah, not happy. Yeah, was less, also, than, less than complimentary. Uh, had, had a toxic tongue yeah. or tone to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Maybe something to do with the $2, the $2 million bonus yeah. that he missed out on by one point. Maybe that had something to do with it as well. But anyways. Well, you, you know... I, did the I, players make this call? Well, no. I mean, and listen. This is. I I feel I, I I feel badly for. First of all, I feel badly for Saber fans. Um, I I think that these people. I've been to Buffalo enough over the last well, thirty years, to know how loyal this fan base is to this organization and how dearly they want to win, and how frustrating it would be to them when. They see the rebuild begin after those years of Darcy Regeer and, and getting that horde of draft picks and, you, and Tim using the draft picks, some of them properly. I mean, the Ryan O'Reilly trade, to me, comes across, comes you, you brought his name up. The Ryan O'Reilly trade was one of the great trades in the last decade in the National Hockey League, what he brought to this organization uh, from Colorado. Um, but then, then you look 40 miles across the lakes. You, you look at Toronto, who started the rebuild – a year later, and got to the playoffs a year earlier. So, do you think Toronto's success played a role in? I think it plays a role every decision? time. I, yeah, think, I, I, I think. I think that. The, I mean, holy, and, and and a lot of it, Darren. A lot of that is so much luck. It, a lot of it is luck. I mean, it was it. It was unlucky for the Sabers that Austin Matthews was born two days after. <laughs> the deadline to be in that that same draft that Eichel was in. It's it was. It's it's bad luck that you know Mitch Marner got picked where he did. I mean, there's so no, many. No, the ultimate things. bad luck was that they played oh, every the, cool card they had and didn't get and Conor, didn't get Conor Conor McDavid. David. I mean, and l- listen, they they played, they 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 did everything they could in their power to get Mike Babcock, everything in their power. I mean, I, I listen, I I I know Tim Murray. I think he's a good hockey man. I think. He, he was building a good foundation, but in the time that Tim was Murray was there, long. in the time that Tim Murray was there, he did everything in his power to land the the next savior yep. in Absolutely. Connor McDavid. Yep. He, and the best he, coach. He, he did get Jack Eichel. He traded for Ryan O'Reilly. He picked up uh, the franchise's number one goaltender, Robin Letter. Some people are are on the fence on him, but sure. he is their number one goaltender. Traded for Evander Kane. Which, after a, a rocky time, well, he's been Kate had, had a listen, great second half. Uh, Reinhardt, we're not sure about 
but and then hired a Stanley Cup uh, pedigree coach. coach. Yeah. You know, that, like, that, I, I think this has way more to do with something off the ice than it does with well, Tim Murray's track record. Because well, no, I, 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 and, no. and they had a really good season last year. This year Rough took a step start. back because of injuries. Well, no, Jack, listen, Jack Eichel got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Jack Eichel and got O'Reilly hurt. That's, was hurt that's the irony of this, right? You're hearing about Jack you know. Eichel, and then if he doesn't get hurt early in the season, what happens? Maybe it's completely To me, this story. shouldn't be on Tim Murray at all. No. I'm sorry. It should not be on Tim Murray. Tim Murray did what he could do for this organization over a period of time. Remember how bad they were. And the pro- but the problem goes, it'll go back to say, well, look at those guys. They did it quicker. Yep. And, and, and that's the unfairness. That's the unfairness of, of, of being in this game. Uh, and, I mean, look at the years. Look at the years that the Oilers drafted first-round picks. And look at the off years that they drafted, that got, who got drafted the first overall. You know, they didn't get Stamkos the year they got Taylor Hall. They, you know, it, it just grows and grows, the amount of guys that they didn't have opportunity to get. And the same thing in Buffalo. They just, they didn't win the draft lottery. You know, they they didn't get a chance to get Babcock. I think the money was identical. I think so, the money was identical. So, so the question is, who slides in there now? Oh, that's a... Are you, okay, are you going to both... Are su- you doing that already? Are well, you, su- just, are you I surprised know that yeah. both went? I am. Yeah, but no, I am. no, here's, here's the... I, I truly believe... The writing was on the wall for Dan Bilesma because yes. of the players. But then you look at you look at the stock that Tim Murray's made of, and you look at the Murray family, and you look at what they do, and they go down with the ship. They go down with the ship. I'm sorry. They go down with the ship. And, you know, they're, I, I think what Tim Murray did yesterday, if, if, if in fact he did, was honorable. You've, I hired this guy. I'm not – I, so I like you where believe, we're going. You believe he was told to fire Dan Bilesma and didn't? Yes. And then oh, he so was man. told – if you don't, you're going to? Well, I think that they, you know, the meeting might have ended and then they made the decision and the decision was made later. Now, I don't think it was, I, whether it happened in the meeting or not, I don't know. But I think that he, he stood by his man and... Yeah, you got to respect that. I think you have to respect yeah. that a great deal. Yeah. I'm, well, I, you know, listen, I, 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 I do lots of stupid things in my life, but I'm loyal to people and I love loyalty in people. And I think being loyal in, in, is a uh, is a lost art mm-hmm. in our business in so many ways. And I, when I talk about this business in the hockey business, and man, oh man, oh man, it's uh, it's disappointing. But uh, uh, you you end up knowing who your friends are.